Uh, so my name is Emma Vidal. I'm a French artist. I grew up in the south of France in a city called Marseille and I came here in St. Louis about like two and a half, three years ago. Uh, my work has mostly ceramic sculptures and drawings. I do a lot of charcoal drawings and recently I started to develop it in more painting practice as well. Working a lot with symbols, so this body of work that I'm currently working on is all based on this uh, ancient Egyptian symbol of the Ouroboros, which is this uh, uh, symbol of the circle of life, this idea of like a, a snake eating his own tail, it's usually like a circular symbol. My work really originated from this uh, tribe of children that I call the Lost Boys. So it's a body of work that I started uh, about seven, eight years ago now. I can show you like over there, this is a painting which is still in progress, but it's this idea of like uh, having uh, my characters and they're like gathering a lot of uh, artifacts that look very um, of different civilization and trying to create a new order out of it. I'm very interested with uh, all the so symbolism, uh, religion, uh, why human being needs to have something bigger than them. So, and what I work with my ceramic sculptures is trying really to develop um, more what could, um, how their own divinities could look like. So imagining like their own fetish sculptures. So here you have one. Um, and it's really like trying to to represent the div different form. I'm very interested in all these baroque patterns as well that are pretty recurrent in my practice. Um, I get inspiration from yeah various different sources. Um, and in terms of patterns, I think it's really like a research about uh, you know how tribes like to have tattoos themselves to like belong to a certain tribe or stuff like this. So it's a it's a recurrent uh, idea after I really like the aesthetic and the more like a symbol form that uh, Baroque pattern has. So it's kind of uh, trying to incorporate in the bodies and in the, in the, um, of each characters. So I'm, I really like to move my studio around depending on what I'm working on. So far I've been working a lot on sculpture. So these two have been um, really important to me and they're again like using this gold glaze uh, more like this one is more like a bronze metallic one uh, I have a couple here so all of this I work in here uh, on this desk I usually work on my drawing which is really you know like this uh, architect um, table that you can totally raise so for large formats it's really good and yeah I mostly work from here um, my sculpture slowly, slowly like took over my old studio, I think. So now I'm trying to push a little bit the walls for here to, for example, have some space to work more on a painting. When I'm working on really big work or need to use like special equipment, I will often use here. Uh, for example, this is a, a clay extruder is what I use to make all the snakes body because it can just like you put the clay here and it will like extrude it in a tube form directly. Um, yeah, this is, here there is a couple of glaze station. I don't really use these glazes, but it's, it's here. I can show you the kiln room because this is my favorite room in here. The kiln room is here. So this is where all the firing are happening. I recently acquired this little baby, which is all mine. And <laughs> so I need to fix it a little bit first, but I'm pretty excited to have my own kiln. Uh, one that I can show you that I'm pretty excited about. Um, so usually I work in very big scales. And this was actually started really as a test. And I, I, I don't know, I really felt I could develop it more. So I worked more on all the tiny details. And yeah, so far I really like the result and I'm hoping to have it like entirely 
uh, gold with this luster gold in uh, in pure uh, pure gold. So for tools, I have a couple of them here. I just got this new tool, which is my little precious angel because it's a bit costly. Uh, <laughs> and after I I kind of started to do all these patterns on my sculpture, which are now a little bit like a signature that all of them have, even the big one. The, the, so again, with this idea, I was telling you of the having like the different uh, tribe symbol tattooed on them. And this is all done with a toothpick. What I usually do is I will uh, outline its shape. So this is uh, taking a little bit and after it's all about like filling, like doing all this little tattooing that I do. What I realized in the US is a lot of the taste is inspired by European classics. So there is actually like a lot of uh, similarities. But it's very hard to say, but I, I think in art there is some, uh, some different tastes. Like, uh, I remember like, thinking a lot like how, for example, in different, if you go in different parts of the US, you will have very different artists. For example, uh, Los Angeles artists are very, uh, of course, very colorful, very, uh, it's an art which is very happy in general. Um, if you go more toward the East Coast, it's much more European, it's much darker. Uh, for example, I'm not sure my charcoal drawing will do very, really well in, <laughs> in, uh, in California and stuff. Yeah. I think it's always good to follow uh, what you want to say in general. Um, I really believe that trying to be trendy doesn't work. Uh, and it's. It's something that is pretty recurrent with a student I teach. It's, uh, it's, if you try to be trendy, you like the train is already gone, and there's going to be a next trend, and then, and there's always something next yeah. that you you can never catch, and you will end up losing yourself. So, I think it's much better to try to really, really connect with what motivates you and really animates you, and really go but 120% just into it and try to make it happen and, and move everything around you to really make it heard by people and seen by people, I think is much more valuable. And it might take a little bit longer, maybe, but it's, uh, I think at the end, the result will be much more uh, important and valuable than just like running against something that, yeah. Isn't it? I agree. Does that make sense? Yes, yeah. it does. <laughs>